Alright everybody, it's just about turkey season here in Idaho. So I thought that I would throw together a quick little video and talk about some of the strategies that uh, we've used here in Idaho. Alright you guys, turkey season is about two weeks out here in Idaho. Our opening day for adults is April 15th and opening day for youth is April 8th. Uh, we typically hunt the youth season. I'm not going to be able to this year. Um, both of my boys are, are over 18 now, so. Uh, but I do have some friends. I was going to try to take them. Uh, but the area that we typically hunt in is still snowed in and probably will be for a while this year. It's been a, a crazy spring. I'm getting rained on right now <laughs> doing this video. Uh, so I wanted to just kind of cover some of the techniques that we've used that we've been successful with here in Idaho and. Uh, I am not a professional turkey hunter, but we've had some success, as you can see in some of these pictures. Uh, we just wanted to share, I have a lot of friends that you know are interested in hunting turkeys, I've never done it before, uh, so I imagine there's a lot of people out there, and there's a lot of people out there who are a lot better at it than I am, but um, one of the things that we like to do, and this is probably how we've been most successful. I, I call it the single hen decoy, so it's a single hen technique, and we're using one hen decoy. Uh, it's been pretty successful. Um, I know there's other methods out there, but I um, thought I'd share this. So what we do, we typically will get up there um, the day before the hunt, or if you, if you don't get up there the day before you get up there in the afternoon, get up to where you're hunting, and typically the, the thing about the turkeys in Idaho, they're in the mountains. So uh, we don't hunt fields, we hunt mountains, like you're hunting deer or elk or something like that, which makes it a lot of fun. Makes you have to put some work in too. So um, get up to your area uh, the afternoon before, say. Get out, get up high, listen into the drainages. When you hear the turkeys in the evening, find them with your binoculars, watch them, find out where they roost, mark it, the next morning get up before daylight, you go in, you try to get as close to the roost as you can without going right in there because in the dark they'll, they'll see you, you'll spook them. So you want to get maybe a hundred yards, maybe closer than a hundred, if you can get to eighty yards from the roost and get a decoy, a hen decoy, and set it out there. And get back, get your place to hide, get your shooter ready, and as the sun starts coming up, they'll start gobbling in the tree. The other thing that happens, typically, they will have hens with them. And so we have the one hen decoy out, the sun starts coming up, gobblers start gobbling. What I do, is when the hen starts making noise, I copy her. So if the hen cackles a couple times, I, 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 I try to imitate the exact same call. We've had success with this, so if you're a turkey hunter and you're telling me I'm full of it, then that's okay. <laughs> uh, we've had success with this, and we've had quite a bit of success. So copy that hen. Uh, one particular uh, Tom, my buddy, Steve shot, his very first tom, probably one of the biggest we've ever shot. The tom stayed in the tree for well over an hour after sunrise. The hen and, and some smaller toms had flown down, and I just kept copying the hen that was on the ground down from that, that tom. And eventually, she flew back to the tree. He left the tree and came straight to us. And my buddy Steve was able to get one of the best toms that we've shot up there. Beautiful tom. favorite technique. Getting in there early, if you know where they're roosted, get in, you know, 
if you, the thing about turkeys is they're going to fly out of the tree when they come out of the roost. And if they're, they're roosted on a mountainside, they're going to fly straight across if they can. And typically, if they're not bothered or there's nothing that scares them, they're going to fly back to the same place that they flew up from or very close. So if you know where that is and you can get fairly close to that with a hen decoy and get set up and wait for them to start gobbling and give them a little bit of a little bit of hen call and wait for that hen. When that hen starts calling, just start calling like crazy, just, just like the hen. Copy her. And that has worked really good for us here in Idaho. And so the other thing is that I've been figuring out the last few years, and I've always gone opening day. We always do pretty good. We get a couple turkeys. Uh, but last year I went later in the season, and I found out that last year when I went, the toms were a little more responsive later in the season. And from listening to some people that know what they're talking about, I guess, and, and figuring things out, once the hens start nesting up, those toms go looking for new hens. And if you're out there and you put that hen out and make that call, chances are you're going to call them in. And we had several come in last year. We had two videos last year, one of my solo hunt later in the season, and then my father-in-law, even like May 15th, I think is when he shot his. So, uh, you know, if you can't make it out the first of the season, that's fine. Go out a little bit later and find those toms that have separated from the hens that are nesting. Um, they're out looking for new hens. So you, you've got a really good chance of getting them to come in. The other thing is, uh, that kind of goes hand in hand with that, or that is comparable to that, is during the season at any time, in the mornings a lot of times, they're, they're all roosted. They all fly down together. There'll be a tom or two toms and several hens, and they're all together feeding. Well, eventually in the midday, some of the hens will go off and nest up. Midday sometimes can be one of the best times to hunt turkey. I like to get in on the roost if I can. If not, we've been, uh, you know, two in the afternoon, just cruising around on the road, calling a little bit, and hit hit two toms gobbling. And one time in particular, two toms gobbling, we dropped down, put the single hen decoy up, called that the tom one tom right to us, and I shot it. It was one of them that I shot. It was an awesome experience. My son Braden got a good video of it. Anyway, so midday sometimes can be the best turkey hunting there is, uh, and then later in the season as well. I've had a lot of people ask me that have not hunted much uh, about shotgun setups and chokes, and you know, some people that want to hunt turkey they don't know much about it, you know. Uh, so the difference in chokes in a shotgun uh, is is this: a full choke will give you a tighter pattern so that, that your shot will reach out there further. So on a, on a turkey hunt, you want to use either what's called a turkey choke, which they make them specifically for your gun, depending on what gun you have, if you have an interchangeable choke. Uh, if you don't have that, use your full choke. Um, you know, four, four to BB shot is good. Um, they make special turkey loads. Go check those out. There's, there's a bunch of different... Uh, combinations of BBs and things like that, but you, typically you want a little bit bigger BB. You want your, your uh, shotgun set at full choke. Uh, we've killed a lot of turkeys with a 20 gauge. A little short 20 gauge works perfect at a closer distance. You know, your 12 gauge with the full choke, sometimes you can reach out there. Or if you have that, that tight turkey choke on there, you can reach out a little further. But the difference is you have, now I'm kind of old school, I've been, been hunting with shotguns a long time. Um, we had started with in interchangeable chokes when I was a kid, and it was improved cylinder, modified, and full choke. Basically, improved cylinder was a nice wide pattern at a closer distance, and then modified, the, the, the pattern closes down a little bit, and then full choke is your tightest, tightest pattern. Now those old shotguns, just on the side note here, uh, you cannot use a full choke with steel shot. So be careful what you're doing. There's a lot of steel shot out there for, for waterfowl. If you, 
if you take steel shot to hunt turkey and, and shoot it through a, an old full choke, you're going to have a problem. I don't think the steel will go through the turkey choke either, the turkey chokes, because it just tightens up and it doesn't compress and it causes problems in the barrels of your shotgun. So it's best to use a copper plated uh, shotgun shell for turkey by the turkey rounds if you can get them um, and shoot your full choke or your turkey choke. Uh, so, I mean, I hope that helps. I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, but I know there's a lot of people out there who don't, who've never done it before, want to try it get out there because turkey hunting in the spring is it's a blast um, I know a lot of people are like ah, I don't want to turkey hunt but once they do it it's fun they have a ton of fun and they call them the bulls of spring because it's a lot like hunting elk on a smaller scale way smaller scale <laughs> but calling them in it can get your heart pumping and get you going get out there take a kid turkey hunting is excellent place to introduce kids to hunting. Take a, a, a 10, 11, 12 year old out. Maybe you're both learning together. Father and son, father and daughter, mother, mother, son, mother, daughter. I, I don't know, but take them out. That's a great way to spend time. And my dad did it with me. My dad took me deer hunting, you know, elk hunting, fishing, duck hunting. We duck hunted so much. Um, and then started turkey hunting later because Idaho hasn't had turkeys in, you know my whole life. So anyway, get out there and enjoy the outdoors and hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, if you like it, if you like my videos, please get on there, subscribe, like my videos, leave a comment, tell me hi, I'll, I'll say hi back and uh, hope to see you out there in the field someday.